Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. It's a beautiful morning here and I'm heading out wide. I'm on the mission to catch a hard pooker. I've been trying to catch one of these fish for ages now um, and the magic hasn't happened yet, but hopefully today it will. So I've got about 15 k's of pedaling to get out to the spot. So I'm gonna get stuck into it and I'll see you guys out there. Alrighty, we're hooked up. I think we've got ourselves a nice kahawai here. And uh, yeah get him on board there we go fish landed Woo! well there we go nice kahawai on board on the berkeley seven centimeter frenzy lure this guy's going to make a great bait for today's bottom fishing so let's put him out of his misery and keep trekking on well we're hooked up it's been a slow start to the morning um i've tried a few different pins so far but with no luck but uh, yeah, now on this uh, new spot, and we're into a fish. My take is that it's going to be a little snapper. Doesn't feel huge, but I'm running pretty large hooks today. I think nine bar o, maybe eleven bar o. So uh, any fish that takes this uh, bait will have to be a pretty all good fish. So let's see what we've got, eh? All right, we've got ourselves a nice snapper. To start the day. Let's go on board. There we go. He took that uh, fresh kahawai. I've been finding that the uh, pillies that I bought with me have been uh, getting pulled off the hooks pretty quick. So that kahawai, the skin keeps it on nice and tight. So, so yeah, there we have it. First fish for the day. Beautiful little snapper. Good eating size, but um, he's blowing his ear so I can put him back, which is great. Away he goes. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, we're into another fish. This one's actually pulling some string, so it's probably gonna be a little better than that last one. It's actually kind of hard to tell on this gear because I'm usually soft baiting, so uh, going from super light gear to this stuff is quite hard to gauge how, how big a fish is gonna be. But oh, we'll wind it up and find out, eh? That's a bit of a run. Oh, that's a big run. Holy shit! Marco Shark! Oh my god! Oh my god, look at that! Marco Shark! It's just... Holy cow! Look at that! I'm hooked up to a Marco shark! Oh, it's gone! Holy shit! Oh, and there's the fish! It was a snapper! And it's on the surface over here. I'm gonna grab it before the shark does. I'll try and grab it. Holy shit! How about that, eh? <laughs> Oh, I'm worried that Marco's going to come back and, and grab it and land on the kayak. Might be better just to leave it. <laughs> that was nuts! That was absolutely bonkers! Wasn't a massive Marco, but it was pretty damn big. Probably as big as the kayak sort of thing. Look at that, smash straight through the uh, 300 pound leader like it's nothing. <laughs> what would have happened, I was bringing up that fish really slowly because I suspected it was a snapper and obviously it felt it coming up, well it sensed it coming up in the water column and came and smashed it right on the surface but that was nuts. It leaped four or five times right next to the kayak. <laughs> Holy cow, bonkers. What you get when you come right offshore, you never know what you're going to see out here, so insane, insane. I think that snapper's actually gone down in the meantime, pretty cool. 
Oh man, I'm still buzzing from catching that Marco, but I just realized after I uh, stopped filming that my head camera wasn't on, so all that good action of it jumping probably isn't there, but oh well, I've rigged up another bait and we're back on the bottom now, so maybe we'll see it again today, who knows. All right, we're hooked up again. This, whatever's on here now feels pretty heavy not putting up any fight at all so probably going to be a shark to be honest but hey you never know definitely a bit of weight behind it been super slow today all I've got is a few uh, hookups that have dropped off on the way up so which were probably little snapper or reef species so uh yeah, it hasn't really been the day I was expecting, but hopefully whatever's on here is a good fish. Oh wow, it's a uh, big scorpion fish, really big scorpion fish. Kind of tempted to take this to be honest, because I haven't really caught much else. That's a beast. Wow. That's a really nice size scorpion. Try and grab him carefully. Oh, his teeth are really sharp. Forgotten my rag today, which isn't ideal. There we go, I'm gonna handle him really carefully because all these spines are venomous. So there it is, really massive scorpion fish. Kind of in two minds about keeping this actually. I might just chuck it back to be honest. There we go, hooks out. I'll try and carefully grab him. Here we go, take two, hooks out, going to quickly get him back in the water. Let's see, we'll let that out his ear and go back down though, that's the question. Uh, yeah, there he goes, making a really slow descent back down there, but he's making his way back down to the reef. And uh, I'm going to rig up these baits again and get them back down in the water. Right, we're into something half decent. Picking snapper. Good snapper. Yep, we've got ourselves another really nice snapper. I think I will take this one home, seeing as I haven't kept any fish today. It's a really nice size eating snapper. Stoked as. Here we go. Beautiful snapper. That one's going to come home today. Okay, we're hooked up again. This feels like it might be another granddaddy half hooker. It's not really um it's not really putting up a fight, but it feels like a bit of weight there, so let's see what we've got here. Yeah, as predicted, got ourselves another granddaddy harp hooker. This one's much smaller than the last. Nice fish nonetheless. There we go. Spectacular coloured fish. This one's going home though. Alrighty, so I um, decided to come back in because uh, sort of running out of bait and running out of uh, daylight and I kid you not 
I just got to these islands, first cast, hooked up, barely had even got into the water. The soft bait barely got in the water. And we're into our first fish, epic wash fishing here. Although we've got some pretty big swells coming through, so you just gotta, gotta have your wits about you. But here we go. Really nice coloured, dark coloured penny. It's a beauty of a snap. First cast, stoked. That guy's going back. And uh, gonna keep flicking around here, it's a good sign. All right, make that two from two. This spot is on fire. Feel like we've got a slightly better fish here too. Another nice snapper. That's a really nice eating fish. I'm actually using a new soft bait today. It's the uh, Berkeley Power Bait five and a half inch fork tail uh, minnow. It's a new soft bait from Berkeley and uh, today's first time using it. So, so far so good, but I'm looking forward to uh, seeing if in the next half an hour or however long I've got left, I can catch something a bit bigger and a bit better on it. But for now, let's get this guy back. Nice snapper, back home. Let's see if we can make this three from three. Oh, I don't believe it. There it is, three from three. This is just a little guy, but <laughs> man, fishing super hot. And uh, let's get this wriggly fella back in the water. Man, this place is spectacular. The wash fishing here is just amazing. Let's, uh, let's keep at it, eh? We're right in the wash zone and uh, hooked up to another little penny. There we go, nice snap. Back home. All right, hooked up again. Honestly, I think we've had a... Uh, oh, this is a better fish. I think I've almost had... Oh, there we go. I'm going to have to get this one out of the wash. Oh, this is a good fish. He's pulling a bit of drag. I'm going to have to loosen up a bit. Get this one out. I think I was tr trying to say. Oh, well, I was trying to say, I think I've hooked more fish than not today in each cast. It's been such an incredible little evening. We've only been soft baiting for about 30 minutes. That's why it's quite hard for me to go and do that deep water stuff because when you have excitement like this from soft baiting, where every cast you're getting a fish, it's just, it's hard to beat it really. Let's see what we've got now. Another nice kelpie. Oh, that's the best fish of the day. If I can get it in. Wow, that is a, that's probably the darkest snapper I've ever caught. That is super dark and very fat too. There we go, look at the colours on that fish. Super dark kelpie and uh, in excellent condition. I think I might actually keep this guy, it's a really nice fish so I'll take that one home, put it in the bag and get another soft bait out there straight away. This is just incredible fishing. Right. I think we're into another good fish. What have we got here? Another nice snapper. Another good eater, but that one's going home.
every so often you have these days out on the water where it's like nothing can go wrong every single cast is a fish and that right there is certainly one of those days i mean for the hard pooker fishing it wasn't that fab but hey saw that massive marco shark which was awesome and uh, then to just finish off with that insane soft baiting hey this has just been an epic day on the water unfortunately though i'm running out of sunlight and so i'm gonna have to head in now um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I certainly love this day on the water. So uh, yeah, cheers for watching and I'll see you on the next one.